It's pretty cool. Look at this. They got the the red carpet out for us and Pete Weber doing his thing out there on the on the red carpet right now. Lots of video cameras. I'm not sure if they've just hired these people to make us feel more special or if these photos are actually going somewhere important. But uh, I'm almost up. Bit of congestion down there, Mike J. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's Wes. Yeah, he's, he's always congested. <laughs> And then, uh, gentlemen, uh, a four-time winner on the PBA Tour from Australia. They call him the Thunder from Down Under. He bowls with uh, both hands. They call him Belmo, Jason Belmont. Please, Jason, right here. Thank you. One more. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. No worries. Jason, thank you. Thank you. To demonstrate your point of release. Sure. So much, you just mentioned how you throw it. Just like that. So you leave your thumb out? Yeah, thumbs out. Just the two fingers. Although these ones don't quite fit. But <laughs> just like that. Hi. Hi, Jason. I'm Madeline Burke with Nice to meet you, nice to meet Madeline. Alright, Jason, you've got a unique bowling style. Tell us about that one. Yeah. Um, Basically, I started bowling when I was 18 months old, so the ball was like half my size. So I developed this two-handed technique where it would uh, allow me to get the ball down the lane, and as I was growing up, I uh, disobeyed everyone else's remarks and just continued to do it, and uh, it's kind of ended up being pretty good for me. Now here you are at a PBR event with NBA All-Star Chris Paul. Uh, talk about what we're doing on tonight. Yeah, um, you know, the, the PBA and Chris Paul have, have done this uh, Chris Paul event now for, I think, three years. And Chris and I have been on the same team the past two years, and we've been fortunate enough to win it the last two years. So we're hoping for a three-peat this year. Um, it's just such a blast. You know, his foundation is by far one of the, the most remarkable things about Chris is he just donates his time and, and gives back to the people that have supported and loved him for over the years. And could you just say your first and last name uh, for the record club? Jason Belmonte. And how do you spell Belmonte? B E L M O N T E. <laughs> Cheers, no worries. Jason, you're bowling. G'day, mate, how you going? Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm with uh, ESPN. Okay. So you're bowling two hands, a little unconventional. I'll just say you're the. Any Tebow qualities to you? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not quite as, uh, as cool as that guy. But yeah, grew up bowling the way that I do, two handed. Um, basically, it's because I was way too small when I was a kid when I first started. Yeah. And uh, I didn't listen to anybody who tried to coach it out of me or tell me to stop doing it. And it seemed to have worked quite well for me up to now. Well, thank you very much. No worries, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Hey, Jack. Hey there, we have Belmo, the defending champ with Mr. Paul on the red carpet, looking snazzy tonight. Yeah, I actually had to, there's a story about this shirt, Jackie, I had to go three blocks down to find a place to iron it, because I just flew in today, and everything in my bag, bowling shirts, everything, are crinkled to the max. <laughs> so I was very fortunate I found someone who was willing to uh, iron it for me. Wow! So uh, do you have confidence in winning this event again with Chris Paul, and you're at it, it's lovely. Yeah, well, Chris won't settle for second. He's already told me it's it's first or, or I'm not coming back. So I'm going to make sure that I uh, don't disappoint Mr. Paul and, uh, and do my job and strike for him. But, you know, obviously it's all for fun. And, and now that there's a third player, and I think I have um, Kevin Hart on my team, so I'm really looking forward to have a few laughs while I'm bowling. Oh, I think he's definitely going to provide a few laughs. So best of luck to defending your title and uh, looking great. Cheers, Jack. You too. Thank you. Jason, you and Chris Paul have taken the win two years in a row. Are we going through for a three-peat this year? 100%. Uh, Chris doesn't like to lose, neither do I, and he's already warned me it's uh, first or I'm never coming back. So, <laughs> uh, I didn't actually say that, but I'm sure he's thinking it. So, we're going to try and, and take it for the third time in a row. Now, are you guys changing anything up? Are you going to try and get him to do uh, two-handed bowling tonight or sticking with the plan? Well, I'm very fortunate that Chris is quite an established one-handed bowler, but if we're down and out and we need to throw something into the wind, I'm going to tell him to pull the two-handed out and see what happens. That's a perfect advice. Cheers. I remember when you were uh, had the Drew Carey show, you had a lot of contests and different types of type bowling related. Um, was bo Is bowling a really big part of your life or was it a big part of your life? Yeah, I bowled all the time. Uh, Ryan Stiles and I on the Drew Carey show, we used to go out and bowl for a dollar a pin. A lot. 
this one year especially, and uh, we had a, uh, a few months there where that's all we did was got together and for, and honestly, like he would buy 10 pins or something for 10 bucks, and we're both millionaires, and he talk about guys that like two millionaires that don't want to pay the other guy 10 bucks, and it was really funny because you'd be like, here's your roll of quarters, you know what I mean? It was uh, very competitive. I loved it. Did you ball a lot as a child? Uh, yeah, I was in a league when I was a kid and stuff like that. Yeah. What got you started into bowling when you were young? Uh, I was uh, not very athletic and kind of nerdy. <laughs> so bowling was like what I did. <laughs> and do you still do anything bowling related? Uh, I haven't lately. I always think about it, you know, but uh, I've been so busy doing prices right and stuff. I just haven't had time. And what else? I see you on the prices right all the time. Is there anything else that you have going on right now? No. I wish there was, but not. I, I, do, I run a lot, you know. Yeah, the weight loss and the running and uh, stuff, that was my, my thing lately until I hurt my shoulder. Hey, here's a, here's a little bowling tip for you, though, from Drew Carey, who once bowled a 285. Uh, never try to get a 710 split. If you're new, you know, just go for one or the other and then call it a day. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to meet you. So you guys have won the last two years in a row. How do you feel that you're going to do this? I'm very confident. I'm very confident about winning it again. You know, Belmo, I'm sure he's going to bring his A game as he always does. And we just got to make sure that Kevin Hart holds up his end of the deal with this thing. And he mentioned that you told him that if he's, he has to win and he has to do a, as good as he can. Would you replace him as a teammate if, you know, for no, next year? No, we, we, we built that chemistry over the years. You know what I mean? This is not something that has happened overnight. We know each other like, you know, better than we know ourselves. And you're obviously one of the better bowlers out here that's not a professional bowler. What do you do to prepare? It's hard to prepare for this. You can get out there and roll and practice and stuff like that, but when they say, you know, the lights are on and the camera's rolling, your nerves get at you a little bit. So we're going to see. Have you ever had any type of coaching? Uh, I have. You know, Chris Barnes actually gave me some lessons and stuff like that a few years ago. So, yeah. Well, best of luck. Appreciate it, man.